Hello fellow astrophotographers, uh, today we have an exciting update regarding our All Sky camera. Um, during past month uh, we tested it a lot in various conditions, uh, from hot sunny days to heavy rainfall and humid uh, cloudy nights. Um, it performed well without any water entering the enclosure. And just to demonstrate uh, how it performed, I prepared a quick hyperlapse of the footage from last month. Let's take a look. So uh, everything worked well, um, no Wi-Fi connectivity issues. Uh, I did have to restart the Raspberry Pi one time when we have the electricity outage, but that's about it. We received quite a few requests regarding this enclosure if we could make it available uh, for sale. So we prepared a kit with uh, limited customization options. Um, just to get it out of the way, our kit does not include uh, the Raspberry Pi um, or the camera or lens, but it includes everything else you will need uh, to complete the enclosure with your own uh, camera choice and your own mini PC choice. Um, without further ado, uh, let's go over the contents of the kit and how it's assembled. The kit includes main enclosure with o-ring seals, acrylic dome with protection film, which is taken off during the assembly, built-in heater with 30mm hole for the camera lens and circuit for smart control, DC hub power splitter, DC cable to connect the heater to the power splitter, some silica gel, circuit tray with mounting bolts, out of the box this supports mounting for uh, DC hub power splitter, heater circuit and Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, but we can customize this to attach your own mini PC. And last but not least, customizable camera mounting plate. We can adjust this to the diameter of your lens up to 30mm maximum. First let's attach the camera to the camera mounting plate. Use the included tool to push the compression ring apart. Slide the lens into the camera mounting plate and remove the tool. The camera should be held in place firmly without any movement. Next, connect the camera cable to the camera. Now put the heater on top of the lens and the cable into the slot of the camera mounting plate. Now put the camera mounting plate on the top of the enclosure and press it in slowly working around like so. So it jumps into the channel which is inside the enclosure and is held in position. Now we will attach the acrylic dome to the top of the camera enclosure. And just a quick warning before doing this, make sure that the camera lens is in focus. First, take off the blue protection film from the camera acrylic dome. Put the acrylic dome into the lid from the below, from the bottom, like so. Now place it on the top of the camera enclosure. Make sure that the heater is over the camera lens. And press it into the position by slowly working around.
Next, attach your Raspberry Pi or your own mini PC to the circuit tray with included bolts. The DC hub splitter and the heater circuit will be pre-installed. Now you can connect the cables to the circuits. Camera to the mini PC, heater to the heater circuit and the DC cable between the heater circuit and the DC hub splitter to power the heater. Additionally, you also need to power the mini PC, which in case of Raspberry Pi uses 5 volt USB cable and micro USB on the Raspberry Pi side. Okay, so everything is connected. Now we only have to add the silica gel between the circuits and close the camera by pushing the circuit tray into the bottom, slowly working around. Okay, that's about it. Just one more note. At the bottom, you will notice there is a small plastic cap you can remove this, so you can pull out the circuit tray if any service should be necessary. You put it back once the camera is closed up. Okay, I think we covered everything. Um, we have made this kit available in our web shop. I have put the link in the description of this video. If you have any um, suggestions, comments or ideas about uh, how to upgrade this enclosure, do not hesitate to contact us via email, Facebook or in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned and as always, clear skies.